Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Laura Harris. Tubular Network is on a mission to decarbonize the transportation of goods. The company says they're building the future by being at the forefront of technologies and logistics systems for the delivery of goods in a faster, more reliable, and sustainable manner using an integrated network of tubes and conduits. We spoke with Tubular CEO Ben James on how this clean tech company aims to reach its goals. The possibility of decarbonizing the transportation of goods for the automotive industry feels hopeful. But what I really care about is delivering the value. I'm here and Tubular Network is here to actually deliver. Starting in 2020, the company officially launched in 2022. James says they address the logistics inefficiencies and reduce greenhouse gas emissions in industrial and urban domains. Tubular Network moves goods as soon as they're ready, eliminating the need to group items together before delivery. James says this leads to delivery speeds that are 10 times faster, and that can significantly cut greenhouse gas emissions. The whole product uh, line of automotive uh, companies is changing around sustainability and climate change. And just like the products need to change, the manufacturing process needs to change. And I think the automotive uh, manufacturing industry is and should be uh, the example pointed to by other manufacturing industries as the one who leads the, the charge on that transition. The company's vision is building a new citywide infrastructure to reduce road traffic, and make future urban freight emission-free and faster than today. By using self-driving electric shuttles, Tubular moves a high volume of goods between nearby buildings within a controlled infrastructure. Its electrified shuttles are guided by advanced AI technology to adjust the dispatch, navigation, and overall system efficiency. So at least 10 times faster in terms of delivery speed, but also reducing the amount of human intervention needed through all those steps, as well as the staging area, so there's a number of vectors of efficiency gains by changing from the old trucking shuttling runs to this new model of what we call hyper logistics, tubular delivery. Thanks, Ben, for taking the time to speak with us. Well, that's all we have for today. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at AutoNewsTV and online at AutoNews.com. For updates from our reporters all day, every day. I'm Laura Harris. Have a great night, and I'll see you all next time.